For making keto uttapam, I'm using one cup of almond flour, which is 112 grams, to which I'm adding four teaspoons of psyllium husk. Psyllium husk adds a good amount of fiber while helping the almond flour to bind and come together. Next goes in half a teaspoon of salt, one teaspoon of lime juice or vinegar, and half a teaspoon of eno. You can also substitute this with baking soda. Next, we'll add one cup of water using the same cup measure used to measure the almond flour and we'll mix all that and let that rest for 5 to 7 minutes. While the batter rests, the psyllium husk is going to absorb water, become a little jelly-like and then the batter is going to come together. And while that's happening, let's prep our veggies for the uttapam. I'm using 2 tablespoons of shredded carrot, 2 tablespoons of finely chopped onion, one tablespoon of finely chopped coriander leaves and green chilies to taste. All right, this is how the batter looks after five minutes of resting. Can you see it has that idli batter consistency? That is perfect. Next, we are going to get ready to make uttapams. It's very important that you use a good quality non-stick pan. If not, everything is going to turn into a sticky mess. <laughs> Drizzle a little bit of olive oil or ghee and spread it around the pan with a brush just to make sure that the uttapam absolutely does not stick to the pan. I'm using a quarter cup measure to make one uttapam, so this recipe would make four uttapams. Set the pan on medium heat and gently press down the batter with a spoon so that it takes kind of a circular shape. <laughs> That looks good. This is about 8 inches in diameter and now we are going to cover it with a lid for approximately 2 minutes or so. By steaming it in this way, the uttapam is going to come off the pan a lot more easily. Next, we are going to lower the heat and spread all our veggies on the uttapam. Hey, if you're new to my channel, welcome. Make sure to press the subscribe button if you want to see more recipes like this every week. I sprinkled a little black pepper and I'm gently pressing down the veggies so they stick to the uttapam. Alright, time to flip the uttapam. It looks golden brown and crisp and looks amazing, doesn't it? <laughs> Another thing I wanted to mention was that you don't have to cool down the pan after making one uttapam. The first uttapam we made on a cold pan but this time the pan is nice and hot. You can hear the batter start to sizzle. You see that the uttapam turns out just fine, it does not stick to the pan. The main thing is that you use a really good quality non-stick pan and give that coating of oil or ghee and your uttapams are going to turn out just perfect. You can enjoy it just like that or you can enjoy it with some a little bit of peanut chutney or some hot sauce or whatever you like. I really hope you enjoy this recipe and if you did, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. That motivates me to post more and more recipes. <laughs> so alright guys, your keto breakfast is ready. <laughs>